Now, here's a question for you. Why would the newest recruits to Devon and Cornwall Police be taken on a day trip to a farm? Well, if you've been watching Spotlight over the last few months, you may well have guessed the answer. Yes, for the first time, the force has bred its very own canine cops, and we're following them every step of the way. As Spotlight's Andrea Ormsby reports, the latest stage of training involves some introductions. They may not know it, but these sheep are here for more than just their lunch. Today, they're being observed. Let's go. The audience, the A-litter, the first puppies to be bred by Devon and Cornwall Police. What we don't want is these pups fixating on animals, showing responses of aggression. You must correct that. <laughs> Puppies are just over three months old now and a month into their intensive training to become police dogs. I thought they were absolutely fantastic. Initially, you're always going to get, because it's the first time they've seen sheep moving about, <laughs> particularly when they rattle the, the treat bowl and they all came charging across, and they very quickly uh, became nice and neutral and started to ignore the sheep. <laughs> Next challenge, the cows, and again, all the dogs seem completely relaxed. Bigger again, and not even the horses hold too much fear. Today, they've been exceptional. Mind you, they haven't met the chickens yet. <laughs> so here goes. A little more tempting, it's true, but not for everyone. He doesn't really, not interested in them at all, <laughs> which is quite good, I think, but... Um... It'd be nice if he did show that he'd seen them properly. Come and have a look at the chickens, Axel. Just look at them nicely. This is just the first step in teaching the dogs how to deal with other animals. But so far, so good. The recruits have passed another test. Andrea Ormsby, BBC Spotlight, Broadclist. <laughs> They're doing very well, aren't they? Now, let's see what the weather has in store.